Oh, well, this one is called Birth. And uh, um, I really loved uh, working with this whole thing because it's essentially how two platforms. So there's this uh, art of a platform and then art for crypto. Because a couple of years ago, I started making um, art for and about the cryptocurrency world because essentially uh, the... People think that it's really uh, difficult to explain what Bitcoin is, but Bitcoin is actually essentially just that it, for 6,000 years, uh, kings and governments have con been controlling the issuance of money. And now with the birth of Bitcoin for the first time, where it's, it's no longer uh, under the control of kings and governments. So it, it's, it, if you think that how important of a change for the West it was for the church and state to separate essentially what we have with the birth of bitcoin uh, going on here is the separation of money and state so we don't really know how important it is uh, what kind of ramifications it will really have but we already know that they're really really big and they're very important and it's uh, bitcoin is 10 years old now and it's going through its birth pains essentially so i was marrying for the first time together with my other platform the artevo stuff with the body painting things as well as symbolically all the things that are going on with the other platform with uh, Art for Crypto. So what you have at the center of it here is the, is the symbol of birth married together with the symbol of Bitcoin. And she's almost like uh, screaming at her own self-reflection in, in pain. And this is the whole thing of if you look at our central monetary system and, and the destabilizing uh, nature of our currencies all over the world and inflation and uh, and things like that. It's it's the the pain we often experience, and especially uh, I'm, I'm sure many artists will relate to this, with uh, with not having the resources or not having money, not having independence, not having uh, control of our own fate uh, via uh, controlling our financial destiny, is something that Bitcoin is is essentially helping many creatives to uh, to get control of. So as a, as for me as an artist, uh, being inspired by money in the digital form of it and the evolution of it has been very important. But as the biggest story unfolding is is uh, the, what is what will the world of tomorrow in 10, 20, 30, 50, uh, 150 years look like now that we've birthed this whole decentralized currency that no one can really essentially control? what will the truly free market of the Bitcoin world look like tomorrow now that, uh, yeah, wait, uh, and what will it potentially mean for the, uh, I think, I believe it's something like 39% of the world's population is unbanked. So many of those people who are now left out of the current system, what will it look like when they start to implement all of these currencies into their day-to-day -day lives and they get to start to participate in the global market? What will that do for the future of our world? So those kinds of things are embedded into this piece. Uh, it's, that's fascinating. My, my wife and I spend a lot of time in, in Nairobi and to see the impact that M-Pesa has had as, a, as a, an, an unusual uh, new way, new currency for um, people to uh, participate in without a bank account. So all you need is an is a, is a old style USSD mobile phone uh, to be able to exchange uh, digital currency um, and a huge proportion of the Kenyan uh, population use that and it's it's been transformational for their economy so um, I agree with you that that um, Bitcoin has the potential to to, to completely revolutionize uh, the way we do things so big qu biggest question for me is how long it's going to take I think we hope it's going to be faster but I think sadly I think it will take longer than than we hope it's it's probably true and it's it's that's that's sort of a part of this whole thing is it's obviously no, not uh, it, there's been so many different controversial things that have happened that there's a lot of scammers in that space and there's a whole bunch of snake oil being sold and there's a, it's a very tricky place and some sometimes people are very propagandistic about it uh, in one way or another or either it's that it's the best thing in the world or then it's the worst thing in the world and the truth is always in between but like you say it's the the time scale like when the church and state separated it took a long time before it actually we started to see that implemented into the larger whole but i think the the birth of it and the decade first decade of it and it's still going and it's still strong is 
was something to be celebrated in an art piece like that. And it, it keeps being an inspirational uh, source for a mul multitude of reasons, uh, this whole space. And it's given me a lot of opportunity as well. I get to go around the world to do these keynotes and, and performances and, and uh, so forth. So it's, um, and this is another one from the same.